Well, another day, another mass shooting, as is the way with America. And this one happened in Texas, so if nothing else, it really puts a damper on that whole good guy with a gun fantasy, doesn't it? But of course, this is a show about atheism, not a show about gun control. So I'll skip over all the really obvious and verifiable arguments in favor of a massive overhaul of our current everyone has a right to a John Wick basement's worth of death machines policies, and we'll just skip straight to the thoughts and prayers that come afterwards. See, inevitably, in the wake of this, America's 199th mass shooting of the year so far, depending on how you count it, it might actually be more than that, politicians whose job it is to actually do something about it instead called for thoughts and prayers. Although, if those prayers aren't for those specific politicians to do something about it, I don't know what the fuck everybody's praying for, for bullets to start turning into butterflies mid-flight. Anyway, having heard that same bullshit deflection at least 198 times this year already, Americans were ready to push back, and we did. Before they could even mutter the words, we were shouting them down with a reminder that we're sick and fucking tired of calls for wishing plus magical wishing in the wake of tragedy. Even American media, cowed as it perpetually is to the fragile sensibilities of Christians, pushed back against this shit. In the wake of this Texas shooting, CNN host Paula Reed interviewed Keith Self. That's the Republican congressman who represents the district where the massacre happened. And she put it to him directly. As soon as he tried to hide behind prayers, Reed asked him how he would respond to people who said prayers aren't enough. And his diatribe worthy response started, quote, well, those are people who don't believe in an almighty God who is absolutely in control of our lives. I'm a Christian. I believe that he is. End quote. So first of all, Yes? So fucking what? You haven't answered the criticism. You've just restated half of the premise. But secondly, in addition to yes, no. While you and me are no doubt people who don't believe in an almighty God who's in control of our fucking lives, that's not true of all the people that are asking self to do more than ask his invisible friend to up his game. Hell, most of those people, most of the people taking issue with that response believe in an almighty God. And even they have to admit that when it comes to preventing mass shootings in America, he could really use some help from the fucking legislature. But third, and most importantly, consider the degree that you have to misinterpret the criticism to get there. People who are coming out against this thoughts and prayers bullshit, we're, we're not taking issue with prayer. I mean, I, mean I, I, I do take issue with prayer, but it's a completely different issue. But to think that the problem we have is that you're praying would mean you'd have to simultaneously believe that we're mad at you for thinking. When people point out how useless thoughts and prayers are to the victims of mass shootings, they're not coming out against prayers any more than they're coming out against thoughts. And, and, and what we're saying is do more. And by more, we really mean anything at fucking all at this point. But of course, self isn't going to do any of that. Instead, he's going to jump at every opportunity to turn this into some us versus them culture war bullshit about persecuting Christians just as soon as he can think of a way to make fewer random massacres sound woke. So after taking umbrage at the very suggestion that wishing in his head wasn't a viable and sufficient public safety strategy, he said, quote, prayer is powerful in the lives of those people that are devastated, as, as though telling a congressman that prayer wasn't enough was the same as telling the Christian family members of those victims to stop praying. And as if he hadn't sufficiently tipped his hand at that point, he added, quote, I know people want to make this political, but prayers are important and they are powerful in the families who are devastated right now, end quote. So it's either prayers or politics. Choose a fucking side. But even Christians know that dichotomy is bullshit. Some of them do, at least. I, th I think my own senator and the politician I've personally donated more money to than any other pastor, Raphael Warnock, summarized it pretty goddamn well. He chimed in on the controversy around self's obfuscating bullshit with a statement that read, quote, as a pastor, I'm praying for those who are affected by this tragedy, but I hasten to say that thoughts and prayers are not enough. In fact, it is a contradiction to say that you are thinking and praying and then do nothing. It is to make a mockery of prayer. It is to trivialize faith. We pray not only with our lips, we pray with our legs. We pray by taking action, end quote. 
And look, I can't obviously agree with that statement. Prayer makes a mockery of itself. Faith couldn't be more trivial. And saying that we pray by taking action is the same as saying that we take action by taking action. But it's a strong indicator that you don't need to be an atheist to see the problem with self's response. And strangely enough, you apparently don't have to be an atheist to admit that prayers don't do shit. 